Well, hello everybody out there on the internet. This is Real Man Pones. And tonight I'm going to be making me some eggplant parmesan. Mmm, yummy. Anyway, I got to get some eggplants before I do that. So, uh, let's see what we got here. Ooh, look at that one there. That one is perfect size. Let's get you. Ah, look at that. Yeah, buddy. All right, what else we got in here? Ah, ah. Here's one. Oh, yeah. Ah. Look at that. Just what I want. I might need one more. But I might not have one more. But I can, I can cut them any size, but I want a big one. A big one. Oh, there's a big one. Yeah, buddy. Come here, you. Ah. Yeah, this one is right at its peak. And there we go. So we got three eggplants. And these are called Listata di Gandia. And uh, these things on the end are sharp. <laughs> so I'll be back with the rec recipe. Oh. Well, I'm back and it's time to start. So, uh, got me some hot butter and oil. And I got some tomatoes, some mushrooms, some peppers from my garden. And, and the tomatoes are from my garden too and some uh, onions. So let's put them all down in there. Uh, uh, there you go. You know what I mean, Butterbean? You know what I mean, Butterbean? Now, the, the recipe I'm showing you, I'll have a link down below in the information bar. Um, just calls for sauce. It doesn't call for the onions and the mushrooms and all that. But it's your eggplant parmesan, so you put in it what you want in it. Just like I'm going to put in it what I want in it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Butterbean? I'll be back. Well, and looky here, I put, I put a little tomato paste in here because my sauce, that I, my homemade sauce is a bit runny. So I just put a half a can of tomato paste in here and I'm using two jars of my, my sauce, which are right here. Mmm, mmm. And we'll just put that right in there. Mmm. That's what I'm doing. Mm. And I'll leak those out in a minute. Mm. You know I will. Let me put it up there a little bit higher. Mm. I'll be back. Sauce is done, and now it's time to get these. Uh, ah, damn that shit sharp. These beautiful, look at that, purple and white eggplants. So we're gonna cut off the top. We don't need that in. Get rid of that, and we're gonna cut off. Just round in because it ain't very flat round side. We're just gonna just like that. Like that. And then we're gonna take slices. About a quarter inch thick. We'll see. But anyway, we'll put those pieces over here. And now we've got another one. And I'll take this way out 
again. Uh, oh, we're gonna, oh, we forgot to cut the other end. That's what I forgot to do. But uh, now nah, that makes it much easier. Cut off that edge. Don't need that. too much we'll see mm. Be back all righty well i'm ready i got my oil on medium blue and i got uh, my flour with uh, salt and pepper my eggs two eggs with salt and pepper and my breadcrumbs so we'll see how that works we we'll take one of these dip it in the flour drop it in the oil. Not hot enough. Well, we're going to put it on medium. And get it going. Get it up. And the next one. looks a little bit better so let's see how it's looking underneath oh yeah that's good now we turn them over I'm gonna do them about three minutes a side there we go I'll be back alrighty let's do it Got my cheese. I got a mozzarella and provolone mix, uh, and some shredded uh, parmesan and some sauce. Let's get her, get her going. Let's see how it works. Take the lid off. There we go. All right, we're gonna put a little bit on the bottom. Get it started. So it won't stick. I don't know the dimensions of this container, but you can guess. It's the square one, not the long one. The long one is 9 by 13. So I'm not sure what this is. Probably, I don't know, 7 by 7 or something. You'll figure it out. And now we'll start with the small ones on the bottom. Yeah. And then we'll put 
put a little more sauce on top of that. Spread it out. Just like that. And we'll take shredded mix. And we'll have this all over there. Doesn't have to be a lot. It'll be a lot of layers. And we'll put some Parmesan. Another layer. And this time we'll do four because I got all the big ones. Two, three, and four. Put those kind of like that. There we go. Kind of press them down in there. There we go. Yeah. Now we'll just put sauce on them for right now. This is the last layer. We'll top it off with more cheese once we cook it. Now I preheated the oven to 400 degrees and this will go in there for about 40 minutes. Then we'll take it out, put some more cheese and there you go. Bob's your uncle in the oven again. Mmm. Oh that's good sauce. Alrighty. I'll be back. Alrighty. That. Nummy. Now it's time to put some more cheese on top. go I'll be back all righty folks well it's done and we gonna cut it Mm. 
Look at that. That's it right there, folks. Garden. Oh, 